Hello, and welcome to our little Fishers meeting this morning. It's lovely to see you here. And I have got a really lovely story for you this morning that I'm very excited about sharing with you. But before we go into our story, I thought it'd be great to share a song together. Now this is a song which I have from a very old book that I had when my children were younger and it plays the music as well as has the words inside. You might not be able to hear the music but it's got lovely pictures so I will share the pictures with you. And this is a song that my grandmother taught me when I was younger and it's called Jesus Loves the Little Children and that Jesus loves all the children of the world and how very precious and how very special we are as children to Jesus. Now there's many stories in the Bible about that, but the story I'll be sharing with you today isn't from directly from the Bible, and it's called God's Very Good Idea. But first, let's sing this song together, shall we? I'll sing it first, and then I'll do it again, and you can join in. Jesus loves the little children, all the children of the world. Brown and yellow, black and white, they are precious in God's sight. Jesus loves the little children of the world. It's a very easy tune, isn't it? Shall we sing again and see if you can join in with me and then we'll head to our story of this morning. Are you ready? Jesus loves the little children, all the children of the world. Brown and yellow, black and white, they are precious in God's sight. Jesus loves the little children of the world. Let's see if we can head into our story now, shall we? Which is called very, uh, God's Very Good Idea. I just need to share it with you, which will take me just a moment or two. And here we go. God's Very Good Idea. A true story about God's delightfully different family. In the beginning, in fact, before the beginning, God had a very good idea. It was an even better idea than Solar Panels 1954. Chocolate Chip Cookies, 1938. The Super Soaker, 1982. Colour TV, 1942. Fireworks, 700 BC. The Life Raft, 1880. Roller Skates, 1760. The X-Ray Machine, 1895. God's idea was to make people. Lots of people lots of different people who would all enjoy loving him and all enjoy loving each other. They would all be made in his image. They would all be like mirrors reflecting what God is like. Because God is full of love, they would be full of love too. So God got to work. He made a beautiful world for people to live in. Then he made the first people, a man and a woman. And he said to them, be happy, enjoy loving me and loving each other. Have a huge family that will fill the earth and look after the earth and enjoy the earth. God carried on creating people. All of them were made in his image and all of them were different too. Some were men and some were women. Some liked reading and some liked riding bikes. Some had darker skin and some had lighter skin. Some had curly hair and some had straight hair. We live in God's world. We are all different, but we are also all the same. Everyone you see is different than you and the same as you. They might look different or speak different or play different, 
but they are all made in God's image, and so they are all valuable. This is God's very good idea. But people ruined God's very good idea. The first people chose not to love God. This is called sin. And because they chose not to love God as they should, they forgot how to love each other as they should. We are the same. We choose not to love God, and so we are not able to love each other like we should. We sin. Sometimes we treat others badly because they are different than us. People fight with each other. People are mean to each other. People laugh at each other. Because we have ruined God's very good idea, he is not pleased with us. Our sin means we can't be friends with him or enjoy living with him. We need God's forgiveness for ruining his very good idea. It's the same for everyone in the world. People who like reading need forgiveness and people who like riding bikes need forgiveness. People with darker skin need forgiveness and people with lighter skin need forgiveness. People with curly hair need forgiveness and people with straight hair need forgiveness. But God was not surprised by people ruining things. He had always had a very good plan to rescue his very good idea. So God got to work. He came to earth as a person, Jesus. Jesus loved people who were different than him. He loved people who no one else loved. He always enjoyed loving all the different people he met. Jesus shows us how to enjoy loving each other. But people didn't love Jesus. Instead, they hated him. They put him on a cross to die. But this was part of God's plan. On the cross, Jesus took our sin so that we can be forgiven. Jesus forgives his people for their sins. Jesus didn't stay dead. He rose back to life and then went back to live in heaven. And then he gave people his spirit to help them enjoy loving him and loving all the different people they know. Jesus helps us to love each other. One day, God will finish his very good idea. Jesus will come back and make the world perfect again. And anyone who has asked Jesus to forgive them will live there with their different languages and skin colours. They will enjoy loving God and loving each other. They will enjoy praising God for making, rescuing and finishing his very good idea. But here's a very, very, very good part of God's very good idea. You don't have to wait till then to enjoy it. Jesus welcomes anyone who asks him to forgive them. And when Jesus welcomes someone, he welcomes them into his family forever. He welcomes people who like reading and people who like riding bikes. He welcomes people with darker skin and people with lighter skin. He welcomes people with curly hair and people with straight hair. God's family is called the church. Your church friends are your brothers and sisters, your wonderful and colourful church family. You can enjoy loving them and loving God with them. This is God's very good idea. Lots of different people enjoying loving him and loving each other. God made it. People ruined it. He rescued it. He will finish it. And with your church family, you can enjoy being part of it right now. Akari's story. Isn't that a wonderful story? God's very good idea that he has made all the people of the world, that he has made us all different, different hair colour, curly hair, straight hair, 
brown hair, brown eyes, blue eyes, brown skin, white skin. And God loves us all. And he thinks that we are all so precious. We're going to finish now with another song. I did this a couple of weeks ago, but this is also in my book. And it's called Jesus Loves Me. Let's sing this together, shall we? Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong, they are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me, yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me, the Bible tells me so. Well, I hope you enjoyed our Bible songs and our story today. And I pray that you have a wonderful week, that you know God's love this week, and that you can share God's love to those around you this week just as they are precious in his sight, as you are. Goodbye, and I will see you next week. Bye now.